Hello everyone, welcome. We're now going to do snippet number 15. So as always, we're working with a four by six inch piece of white pink frog smooth card. I've also got an extra one on one side. So just grab an extra piece of card as well. And what I'm going to start off with is some snowflake white paint. Any white paint will do. If you haven't got white paint, then use some gesso, but it'll be a little bit different with gesso because it's a bit chalky. So taking the white paint, and I'm just going to bray white paint on my card and just bray the excess off on the second piece of card. This will make my next colours pop. So I'm then going to use lime green, which is a Dina Wakely paint, and I'm going to use turquoise and I'm going to put them side by side. Let's just put the lids on those and then I'm just going to bray those out to make a stripe like so and the same on my brayer. And then I'm just going to add that paint nice and thickly onto both pieces of card. Obviously there'll be less paint on the second piece of card because that's second generation with what we've got left. I'm then going to take my twisting and turning stencil 157 and I'm going to place that on to the paint. And then I'm going to take a slightly damp baby wipe or you can use a cloth. Make sure you move the baby wipe over once you've used and removed some of the color. Then lift your stencil and then you're left with a beautiful background that really pops because you've put that white paint underneath. Repeat the same method just on the second generation that we did, like so, so that you've got a second generation print. You can mop up that bit of paint by adding a bit of water. There's not very much on my desk. But what you've got is you've got two prints that we can make two snippets from. Obviously, we're only going to make one snippet at the moment because in 15 minutes, that's all we have time for. Here's one I did before and just added a little bit more paint. So on this one, this, I think that's the second generation. Well, you get confused because they both look. But you can add as much or as little paint as you wish. But doesn't the print look fantastic? And that's the twisting and turning stencil. What I'm going to do then is try to pick up a stamp. I'm going to take my Bulb Gazette stamp set and we're going to stamp some of that stamp in the background. And just so it's not too overpowering, I'm going to use my Morning Mist VersaFine Claire ink. Now, the morning mist isn't as wet as the nocturne. It still stays wetter longer, but it's not as wet. So I'm just going to add a little bit of stamping and it's going to be quite random because I'm lifting the corners of the stamp up and it's, it's, it makes it more random so that I don't get any sort of straight lines. You can sort of press it down if you want completely but I'm sort of bending and bending the corners of my stamp just so it gives me a little bit more of a random feel and I'm just adding this detail to the background again just lifting the edges so I get a nice random background and this stamp is just beautiful for a few random details now the grey works beautifully because it doesn't overpower the design, but you can't tell whether the stencil comes, comes first or the stamping, but I just love that. That background stamp is stunning. Right, what you need to remember is you really need to dry that ink or blot it. And the reason being, you've got that acrylic paint layer on there, so that white card is no longer as absorbent because you've placed that layer of paint on there, which is like a barrier between the card and the layer of paint. So just give that a blot, just to blot up the paint. What I'm then going to add is 
we're just going to then look around for stamps because we've got stamps everywhere what i want you to do then is decide on a flower you want to use i'm going to use this flower here which i've already stamped you don't need to see me stamp it in black i've stamped it once in white because i like the pop of white underneath and then i've stamped it in again in the black and then i've colored it with my ecoline which is carmine number 318 and also reddish brown which is 422 those are my ecoline pens if you've never seen me color with ecoline pens before there's lots of videos also on youtube just if you've not seen me color with ecolines so i'm just adding so you can colour with your pencils, your eco lines, your ink tense pencils, whatever you wish. I'm just adding a little bit of white dotting to this bit here. And I'm just going to add a little dash of white here, just along the flower, just to make it have sort of a white highlight. So it just sort of gives some brightness. Can you see? It sort of makes that flower look really bright which i love i'm just going to stick that on top of the flower just for the moment like so don't have too much dimension because remember this is going in your book so squash that down a little bit so you've got a little tiny bit of dimension but not much because you don't want it to be too much You can also add some white splatters to your background, which I think I've picked the wrong one up. Yes, of course, I've picked the wrong one up when I've got 15 minutes for a snippet. So just add some white splatters. Let's just wipe those up with a wipe that's completely dry. That's useful. Place that on one side. And then what I've done is I've cut a circle which have I got enough time to tell you the measurement? The circle is around about two and three quarter inches, almost two and three quarter inches. And what I'm going to do is take my swirl stamp that goes exactly with the stencil and I'm going to ink it up with the gray ink. So just adding that grey ink, that Versafine Claire Morning Mist. You can take the circle to the stamp if you wish. I'm just going to go straight onto the circle direct with the stamp. And again, I'm using that grey ink so that it's not too overpowering so that the flower is the focal point. But you can see don't know why I'm using that because it's just not hardly wet at all so you can see that this goes beautifully with my background so what I'm going to do then is go back just watch my time let's have a look go back to my and of course I didn't pull out the pulley Never. We want the. The colour I want is not here. Last colour, of course. Last one I went to. And I'm going to take a little bit of Versafine Claire Verdant. And I'm going to take a little bit of that stamping and a little bit of warm breeze. Not much because I don't want it overpowering with the warm breeze. And I'm going to add a little bit of stamping to that background. Just so it's got a touch of those colours in the background. I adore that. And then this will be placed here. Just check how your flower's going to go. So I'm going to add it sort of here. 
let's bring it down a little bit let me look at that yeah so it's going to be added there like so so we'll just add the adhesive and just place that just around about there i can still see some of that background i can then add my little floral again don't add too much adhesive just add this here i haven't added any adhesive to the leaves just so that they they stay quite open oh do you know there is never something here when i just want it there we go it's because we cleaned up right so what we want then is add a little bit of shading i'm using an ink tense pencil called china ink a little bit of ink tense pencil just get rid of the red because there's quite a bit of red and red is quite prominent so you just want to make sure that your brush is absolutely clean and it, i must admit with the red it takes a bit of time just to let me just blend that out now blend out a little bit of the black like so just blend that out and what i would do is when i finish the video i will do a bit more of that blending i'm then going to add my little bird here just so that it's included in the little project, which is from the Quill Ends. So this is from the Quill Ends stamp set, 908. And then I will add a little bit, a little bit of shading just underneath that as well, just to give it a little bit of shading. And what I want you to do is I want you to take your time and add a little bit of shading down the stem of the flower as well. Let's have a look at the time. Just add a little bit of shading just down the stem of the flower. And when I show this in detail, you will see. And then what I'm going to do, you don't need to see me do this, to finish it off, I'm going to add the sentiment grown with love and I'm going to add the sentiment to my card. I'll decide whether it's going to be in one or whether I'm going to cut it up, but I'm going to use the grown with love from the Wellington stamp set, the great outdoors. And I'm going to add that to this as well. So just to finish off, just going to add a few more white Splatters, just so they're included on the flower. And then you add that to your little snippet journal. Just so that you can see that. And it works absolutely beautifully. Just so that you can see that. And what you could do is you could add a little bit more of that background stamping here to the edge. I've still got half a minute left. So what I'm going to do is just... Nothing like pushing it fine. Just use the morning mist and just add a little bit of that stamping just on the bottom here just so you've got a nice flow and that is your snippet finished remember it always looks beautiful on a black mat so i hope you enjoyed snippet 15. love to all and i'll see you all soon bye for now